Today's question comes from Rawl, and I love this question because this question has a simple, easy, and very precise answer to it. They don't all. Sometimes they have a, well, maybe this and maybe that. This is clear cut as day. Today's video was brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Raw Hildago, and I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, and if not, I apologize, sir. He says, I was one of the lucky ones that got a used RTX 2080 Ti for $500 when the 3070 launch. Good on you, sir. A few people did, everybody else, ouch. I have an i5 11400F and 32 gigabytes of RAM paired with it since it launched, and it has been great, and it still is in esports titles. But now I get a lot of stutters in 1440p on games like Atomic Heart, Hogwarts Legacy, ouch on that one, and The Last of Us, and now, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We did a whole video on just that game. I don't feel the need for a graphics card upgrade yet, so what kind of CPU upgrade would you recommend? i5-13600K. This is an easy answer. This is probably one of the easiest ones of these I have answered in some time. Now, for those of you who I just jumbled all those numbers and you didn't quite catch it, the i5-11400F is a 6-core, 12-thread, 11th-gen, Rocket Lake CPU from Intel, no integrated graphics, which is what the F means. There's no K. It's not overclockable. It's fine. It's a perfectly good CPU, but 1440p gaming and Hogwarts Legacy and Jedi Survivor with an RTX 2080 Ti, no bueno. That CPU has had its day for that use case. As, as Rawl notes, for esports, it's absolutely fine. But for his use case, holy smokes, no. It is outclassed. He does not need a graphics card upgrade. The truth is, for 1440p gaming, his RTX 2080 Ti is great. It's got 11 gigs of VRAM. It's about 3070 levels of performance. And the only reason the 3070 is kind of struggling at 1440p these days is 8 gigs of VRAM. But he doesn't have 8 gigs of VRAM. He's got 11 VRAM matters. I would replace your CPU, and your motherboard with an i5-13600K. I would buy a DDR4 board. You can find Z790 boards for about $200 that are very well equipped. Yes, you can buy cheaper boards. I'm not a fan of it. I think you have a nice machine. You probably should buy something in the $200 price range. Get a DDR4 board. Keep your 32 gigs of RAM. We have three different next-gen systems, two of which use DDR4. My son has DDR4-3600 installed on his i9-13900K. RTX 3090. Performance difference between that and DDR5? 3 or 4%. On your 2080 Ti? 0%. You'll never notice the difference. It's irrelevant. So, keep your existing RAM, unless you just really want to spend money. I would keep your 32 gigs of RAM, put it on a DDR4 board, get a 13600K. You can currently get them for about $300. Sell your current CPU and motherboard as a match set to somebody who that will be an upgrade for them because they're coming from something older and worse and they'll certainly appreciate it. And you will, for about $500 for motherboard and CPU, have a wow moment upgrade. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs. In games like Jedi Survivor and games like Hogwarts Legacy at 1440p with the 2080 Ti, 
you're going to load that up and you're going to play that and you're going to go, whoa, just make sure you do really need to upgrade to Windows 11 if you haven't already done so. And I would recommend a clean install of Windows. You don't have to strictly. It's going from Intel to Intel. It's only from 11th gen to 13th gen. You could keep Windows, but it never hurts to have a clean, fresh install of Windows and make sure everything's set up for your new system. So I would encourage you to consider that at the very least. As for cooling, I have found that even a $50 Scythe Mugen 5 does a perfectly fine job of cooling an i5-13600K. So if you don't currently have a cooler like that, you'll want to budget an extra $50, so $550 instead of $500. That, you'll be impressed. And you'll be able to keep that for many, many years to come. 